the Beard from. Oh, go on. Hi, you're here with Mick the Beard from Metal Gods TV, and I am with. The Scotty Neighbours. I'm Rusty. I'm Kenny. Major Tom. And I'm Frank. Great stuff. Have you enjoyed playing here this weekend? It's been absolutely awesome. We've, we've been here pretty much every year since it started, since Twisted Sister opened it, and uh, it's been a proper pleasure for us to play, really. It's, it's been incredible. <laughs> You think you've been uh, well received by the crowds? We uh, we got a lot bigger crowd than we thought we would. The Queen Vic was pretty much rammed, which was excellent for us, considering we were the first band to clash with somebody. And it, it meant a lot to us that everybody stuck around and saw what we were about, really. And have you got any stuff out at the moment that people can get hold of? Uh, our latest release was a uh, 10-track album, what was it? Eight, eight-track album called D45, which is pretty much where we're from, it's the postcode. We're from Derbyshire, right. so uh, so yeah, it's, it's pretty much about people coming into Derbyshire from out of town, Londoners, and buying up the countryside and, and kind of wrecking it for us. <laughs> the, the, some of the lyrics in the title song of D45 are uh, they turn this town to shit and that's pretty much how we feel what they're doing to us. And do you, do you always write songs that you feel strongly about or is that just one of the songs that you've, you know? Most of the time it's what we feel strongly about but a lot of the time it's just a, it's just fun. We, we just wrote a new song called Disco Circle Pit, which is which is about a rock disco. It's because we love metal discos, <laughs> basically. It's a lot of going, you know, going to watch a gig and then after the gig having that disco, you know, which is all the rock disco yeah. and rocking out, and then just circle pitting in that stupid little. And it's always rock great disco of doom, the, the, you know, the, the it's band brilliant. that you go to see finish at like 12, but the rock disco goes on till 2. Yeah, the rock disco will yeah. carry on. <laughs> That's what it's all about. <laughs> but, but here you get live bands up until 3 in the morning. Correct. <laughs> which, which, which makes this festival awesome. I mean, we were honoured to play here anyway, you know, because we've, we've, like I say, we've been coming for, well, this is the fourth year, we, 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 you know, we've been coming to. to to come here as punters and uh, to just to play it is is unbelievable, and to be able to play and then go and see a load of other bands that you really love, and then be able to go back to the chalet, have a few beers, and come back and, and, and until like three, three in the morning, you know, <laughs> to, to go and see bands at three a.m. is 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 fucking brilliant. And the best you know? thing is knowing bands that we've appreciated for a lot of time. You know, they're not you know they're not obviously going to come and see you, but we had the guitarist from Tiger Tales come and see us, and for us that's massive. You yeah, it is. It's brilliant. Yeah, I mean, it's absolutely also, brilliant. Uh, hardcore superstar. I think they stuck around at the back. They were. Yeah, they watched. Yeah. Us. I think. I think there was some good words said from him. Yeah, but, uh, yeah positive response really. To, to get the feedback that we have is is uh, it's important for us because we've worked so hard for so many years just to get to this point and and it's it's, it's brilliant. You know, the, the feeling. Of it. The yeah. feeling of coming off stage. Of you know, and, and 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 getting the feedback that we have is 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 brilliant. You know, and and these small festivals are, are, are so good for that like for, for you know for all the smaller bands out there like us it's it's genius and is there any what's on the horizon for you guys after this uh, next gig we've got is with tragedy which are a uh, Bee Gees metal band um, <laughs> that's, yeah that's in <laughs> really, really that, that, that just adds to the disco circle pit feel for us really but, proper uh, 80s metal Bee Gees isn't it <laughs> they just it's going to be fun. It'll be a lot of fun. And that's at the, the O2 in Sheffield. So, that, yeah, that's if, if, January. If, any, if anybody's Sheffield. knocking around on this, it's the 16th of January, isn't it? If anyone's knocking around there, 16th of January in Sheffield, come down to the O2 and see us. And then what are your interests out of, outside of metal? You any interests outside metal? Uh, 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 we're, yeah, we're uh, badly. I think we're all pretty much addicted to Xbox, but that's kind of not something you should admit. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's there's no X Factor. I'm not. I'm not telling my X Factor story because it just doesn't need telling. As Simon Cowell said, I was a man dying on my ass. <laughs> we can't hide the fact that him, he was on TV on X Factor, and he. It was brilliant, you know. Was, <laughs> he, he gave metal everything. It was. But, um, yeah, Sam McCow, I don't think, really liked it, did he? he? I think he appreciated it. You know, he bought him Bon Jovi tickets. He bought him tickets for Bon Jovi. He, he completely That's failed. Then he goes, he goes, just before I go off, can I have Bon Jovi tickets, please, Simon? 
And he's like, yeah, why not? <laughs> and he actually posted them to him. Can't believe it. And is there anything you'd like to say to the people watching this video about you guys and what, where to go, what to see? I would. I just, um, if you ever heard anything we've done before, um, we've got a lot better coming. Yeah, it's it's, it's going to be a little bit of time, but we've got a lot more coming. It's going to be a lot better. Nice. Definitely. Yeah. I think we should have one last thing. Lemmy, I wish you were my dad. <laughs> Lemmy! I wish you were my dad. Rock it out with Mickey D. And out of the lad. Let me yeah. know that you will never be dead. You made a vibe, see you'll never have led. Whoa, let me. I wish you were my dad. I think that'll do it. <laughs> Thanks, man. Cheers, man.